Summer's here and school is out, and that means just one thing. Don't go outside because you'll die of heat stroke and bee stings. It's much safer to stay inside and watch Netflix. And to encourage you to do just that, Netflix has a bunch of new movies and shows. Freeze, jerkwad! Thanks to a deal struck between the CW and Netflix, you now get to see that network shows very quickly after all the season finales drop. So Arrow Season 5 will be up at the top of the month, featuring hero Oliver Queen trying to run his city as mayor, train a new team of heroes, and battle the scheming and lethal Prometheus. If you want revenge, I'm right here. But wait, that's not all. Netflix and Disney also struck a deal where the audience wins and will be getting their movies six months after theatrical release, which means in June you'll get to watch Moana, in which Dwayne The Rock Johnson flexes a new muscle, his singing voice. Aww. There's no need to pray, it's okay, you're welcome. Ha. Meanwhile, in the world of Netflix originals, Orange is the New Black is back in black or orange or whatever color for its fifth season, so look for things to get even darker as the game-changing tragedy of season four, along with last year's big cliffhanger, places the Litchfield inmates in a dangerous situation. We are ready to receive you. Making its debut on Netflix is Glow, a new series that takes us back to the 80s for a behind-the-scenes look at the real-life cult women's wrestling TV show, The Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling. Glow, get it? Allison Brie, Mark Marin, and Ellen Wong star in this totally tubular trip back in time. Introducing the gorgeous ladies of If you've got two hours and 42 minutes to kill and you want to spend it on the edge of your seat, look no further than David Fincher's 2007 thriller Zodiac, starring Jake Gyllenhaal and two members of the Avengers as they hunt for the astrology and puzzle-obsessed serial killer. Are you sure there's nobody else in the house? Speaking of Jake Gyllenhaal, he also appears this month in Okja, alongside Tilda Swinton, Paul Dano, and a bunch of other actors that you probably don't care about because there's a huge genetic land eater pig running around fighting people! Oh, whoa, that looks awesome! This movie comes from the director of Snowpiercer, Bong Joon-ho, and it looks like a cross between Charlotte's Web and The Incredible Hulk, and you should definitely, probably check it out. Pigs deserve happy dreams. As always, these aren't the only new releases coming to Netflix this month, so here is the full list, and of course, for everything about superheroes, Dwayne Johnson, serial killers, and giant mutant pigs, keep it right here on IGN. We have weird tastes. <laughs>